At this point, the mathematical model is completely defined. The governing equations, the domains over which we want to solve the governing equations, the boundary conditions, and the interfaces at which the, the domains or the parts are coupled. And we can get the answer solver to solve that mathematical model. If I go back to a slide from pre-analysis, okay, so I have my mathematical model here and the answer solver will solve it for us by converting it to a set of algebraic equations in nodal displacements using the piecewise polynomial approximation for u, v, and w. Nothing new there. And there are around 27,000 nodes, so we, and each node has um, three displacements, three degrees of freedom, so we have a total of around 80,000 degrees of freedom, some of which are known from the essential boundary conditions. But let's say we have around 80,000 algebraic equations to invert, some of which are nonlinear. Let's get the answer solver to form those equations and invert it. I'll go to mechanical and highlight solution and say solve. So here it's you know deriving those relationships between the neighboring nodal displacements. And if I highlight solution information and select solver output, which is the default, minimize that, I can see kind of what is the status of the solution. And I can also go to the force convergence, which gives me you know, which gives me a view of the how the residuals from the newton raphson are changing with iterations. And we'll go back to this plot and look at it more carefully and you know, think about how to interpret that. We also get this warning, and if I double click on it, it says, you know, one or more bodies may be under constrained and experiencing rigid body motion, weak springs have been added. This means that the model, it's it's found that the model can move you know, you can move in a rigid body way. Um, that is, you can add a constant um, to your displacements, and that would still be a solution to your um, to your algebraic equations. And what it did was it picked some nodes and it, it constrained it, and one has to make sure that that doesn't introduce kind of spurious stresses, that the constraints that it's put in. One way one can do that is to look at reactions from the weak springs, um, and the other way is to you know check one's results carefully against hand calculations, which we will do.